people have a huge need to feel connected in the aftermath of a disaster. Why is that, do you think? Whether it's an aircraft accident, a natural disaster, or Target being hacked, or Yum! Brands recently with Vietnamese, the Vietnamese situation, why do people want to feel connected to the organization? That you matter, you're important. That, that they matter, yeah. that their values are being listened to or seen, that their opinion is being observed and listened to and being validated. Also because they don't have as much control as they did before the disaster. It can be a hurricane. And still people are like, I, I don't know what services are available to me. Where am I supposed to go? Where am I going to sleep tonight? What am I going to do? And that's where a good BCP plan comes in to help with those things. But there are a host of other things that come along with it that they may not be ready for. How many death certificates do you need in the aftermath of someone dying in the hurricane or in an aircraft disaster? Okay. A hurricane just hit, a hurricane th level three just hit Cabo. So what do you think was down? a lot of the communication tools were down. There was limited access to the internet where somebody could go to the American website, for example, or Delta's website and look. So during the course of the interview, all we could talk about was basically the airlines can do what they can do, but they can't help necessarily with the infrastructure around Wi-Fi and, and the telecom system. So all they could do was make sure that the family members back in the U.S had access to that information to share it with their loved ones if a phone call came in to go out to the airport that there were five flights that day, here are the times, go try to get on a flight. So it becomes a huge communication issue, but a lot of, a lot of what the news wanted to do, and granted it's the news, was they wanted to pin it on the airlines. It's not the airlines fault necessarily, as you can tell through business continuity planning and whatnot, it's a cascading effect, isn't it? You know, the hurricane hits and so when the World Trade Centers fell in 9-11, what was on top of the towers? Good luck trying to make a cell phone call. It just didn't work. So people want to feel connected. They get that information. Uh, they feel connected via information. What happens if they don't get the information? Lack of information means lack of connection. If they don't get the connection, what happens next? It exacerbates their vulnerability. Nobody likes to feel vulnerable. We want to have some control over what's going on. I can't control the hurricane. I can't control the fire in the building. I can't necessarily do those things. But I need to be able to get my feet on the ground. I may not know what to do, but I need to look at a structure in some kind of organization that says there's a process in place or a procedure in place that's going to help me so that I can feel connected and my feet planted and I can move forward after this disaster. And if I don't get that and I still feel vulnerable, then what's going to happen is it's going to manifest itself into anger.